Greetings, everyone. Welcome back for the second half of our morning session. My name is Jim Fallows from the Atlantic Monthly Magazine, and we're going to hope to continue the high level of excitement and interest we've had for the first part of the program. James Wolfenson mentioned in his opening remarks that it was almost exactly two years ago that the failure of Lehman Brothers began the economic consequences we've been coping with ever since then. This stuck in my mind because it was almost exactly two years ago at a zeitgeist that was held on the Google campus in Mountain View that I had the chance to interview a man named Gao Xiqing. He was then and is now the head of the China Investment Corporation. And the 24 hours before he came on stage to be interviewed in front of the crowd, he had been responsible for a larger financial market loss than any other single person in human history because he was in charge of China's holdings in the world markets. And so tens, hundreds of billions of dollars went away. Nonetheless, he came to our conference. Nonetheless, he answered questions, and he soldiered on, and he said what he was going to try to do. I reflected on leadership as involved people like Mr. Gao. This was a person who, in his teenage years, was building railroads in Manchuria during the Cultural Revolution, who then went to Duke Law School, one of the first Chinese students, then was a Wall Street lawyer, and then came back in the 1980s to help rebuild China's economy. It's, we've heard about the strengths of China and India's growth in this morning's session. Leaders like that are part of the strength that these countries have. They have their weaknesses, but that's some of the, the strength. We know that when it comes to the U.S. economy, U.S. institutions, Western institutions, there are many questions about the caliber of leadership. Leadership in the political realm. Leadership in the media realm. We can't all be Ted Turner, much as it would be uh, nice to imagine. Leadership in the military realm, leadership in the financial sphere. This and the rest of this morning's program, before our lunch break, we're going to explore these various dimensions of leadership from people who have lessons to teach about the experience they've, they've been through. We're going to begin with an academic specialist, as you've already been queued up by Christian Freeland, who has made a science of how people can make themselves more optimistic and more positive-minded. Then we're going to have a Q&A discussion with somebody who's in the middle of a very impressive turnaround. Then we're going to hear from a, uh, a leader of an industry that itself is going through huge shifts of its underlying market position. Then another Q&A discussion with somebody who has completed a very, very successful leadership of a mature company. Then we're going to have a surprise for you too. So that's what's in store between now and our lunch break. Um, there will be time during the, when, after the, at, before the surprise and after these initial presentations, we're going to have all of the speakers come on stage, and that will be the chance for all of you to have a Q&A. So that's our ambition for these next uh, 90 or 100 minutes, to look at different aspects of leadership from people who have lived this, this world. To begin this presentation, we have the great honor of hearing from Martin Seligman, whose official title is the Zillerbach Professor at the University of Pennsylvania and a man who has received essentially every honor that his field can bestow, his field of, of, uh, of uh, psychology. That he's won research awards. He also won, I gather, by a historic FDR scale landslide, the presidency of his professional organization. So we can see his political skills too. His relevance, among his relevances here for our discussion is the study he's done on learned optimism, of being able to develop the traits that Ted Turner, among others, displayed so naturally and so effortlessly uh, in our previous session. He has a book coming out next year called Flourish, and so please join me in welcoming Martin Seligman for our initial presentation. 